Okay, so looking at the current issues with John's AAC device, I'm seeing that the sound was not appropriate and it was distracting for the classroom environment. Um, I'm noticing that there was no headphone jack and I'm noticing that the head switch was not appropriate for John because of his physical therapist recommendations and positioning. So after looking through the past chapters and doing some additional research of my own, I have created an AAC aided device that will work with the physical therapist's goal and the teacher's goal and will utilize eye movement um, that John will have for activate, activation. Um, and this device will also have a headphone jack so he'll be able to use it without disrupting the class in inappropriate times or um, he doesn't have to use that during appropriate times like class discussions. Um, so this device will include a speech generating device, an eye tracking device, and a headphone jack. Um, so it is also customizable. So it will it will have a full range of calibration. So you can use zero, five, seven, or nine and adjustment for speed. So you can work with John to see which is most effective um, with it. It allows you to change the device's speaker to sound appropriate for John's age and gender. So as John gets older, we can change the sound um, output um, to somebody more of John's age. Um, and it also allows you to customize it because you can change the categories and what's them in them as John's vocabulary and usage um, matures with it. Um, and you can also change the pictures that you want to represent the words as long as, and also as the people's in it. So if he's using this for English content, then we can change the English content section um, and make it so that John's using more vocabulary for his words from his specific lessons. Or if he's in math and he's learning so multiplication or division now we can add those in to a math category in here um, so it can be changed for every content level it can be changed for every situation um, the more John grows the more we'll grow his AAC device and the more comfortable he uses the more we can change it um, so let's just walk through it real quick so I made sure that I had a headphone jack right here got a set of headphones that John can use we can put them on the back of his chair and he can put them on when he needs them um, when it's more independent work or if it's not doing um, classroom discussions because I do think it's important that it's also able to be used without that. Um, up here we have an eye tracker. So this is will track where John's looking in the device and be able to tell us what John is focusing on and create the sentences for him and then he can send them when he's ready. Um, for the categories, I, since he's seven years old, he's fairly young. I just put on basic things for right now and like I said, we can always customize this. Um, so this could go onto his chair. I want to try the eye tracker first, but we can always incorporate the button on the side near his legs on the chair um, if the eye tracker is not working. So all of this can be set up. I just use this spinny chair, but it can connect to that. Um, and so on John's wheelchair, the um, iPad will be right in front of him. And we'll use the eye tracker so that John can be able to navigate this. It works with the physical therapist recommendations. Um, it works with John's abilities and recommendations um, from before, and we can customize it for all of his lessons. Um, so I think this would be really effective for him, and I would love to see it be used.